Hey everyone, uh, small gag. Uh, a sad, a sad, uh, a sad evening learning about uh, the passing of the great Patricia Neal, one of my all-time favorite actresses, one of the last of the great stars of classic Hollywood. Um, like a lot of people my age, uh, my first introduction to Patricia Neal was her comeback in the late 1960s after her debilitated stroke. Um, everyone was amazed by her comeback and her, her guts, her strength, her courage, her determination. Um, she was a remarkable woman and uh, that's how I first got to know her, was at that peak uh, in the late 60s, early 70s. My parents were both fans, especially my mother. Um, I was always fascinated that this was the woman who was married to the man who wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Roll Doll, as a child. That was very intriguing, and they were a very intriguing couple. There were so many articles at that time about how she got over her stroke. I mean, she had a stroke in mid-1960s and had to teach herself how to walk again, how to talk. Uh, all of her motor skills had been destroyed and it was an incredible achievement uh, that she not only recovered but was able to perform again. Uh, I think the first Patricia Neal film that I ever saw was uh, The Homecoming. Uh, which is still my favorite Christmas film. I, I think that the, the Waltons was a great TV show, but it never approached the depth of The Homecoming. And that film really centered for me on Patricia Neal's incredible, natural uh, performance. This was a woman without vanity. She was a natural, a naturalist actress. Um... She was not about artifice. She was uh, real, but not with the affectations of a method actress. She just gave everything she did this honesty, this brutal honesty that was magnetic. And she was also rugged and a rugged individualist. She was not uh, a fluffy woman, and her roles were never fluffy. Uh, the role of Olivia Walton was perfect for her, as originally written. Um, and it's one of my favorite films. After seeing that as a kid, I went back and I watched uh, her, her classic films made before then. And uh, I've, I've seen practically all of the great Patricia Neal performances. Uh, her first major classic film, of course, is The Fountainhead, which I know will appeal to a lot of my uh, objectivist and uh, conservative and libertarian friends. I think uh, without Patricia Neal, that film would not be what it is. A lot has been written about how Gary Cooper didn't understand what Ayn Rand had written. There's never a question that Patricia Neal didn't understand, uh, even in her youth. You can, you can see her intelligence at work uh, in film. And the real-life uh, passion that she had for Gary Cooper is also part of the incredible magnetism of that film. It's one of my favorites. I know a lot of you Ayn Rand fans are big on Atlas Shrugged. I'm a Fountainhead guy. And uh, both the book and the movie have given me strength throughout my life and dignity throughout my life. I find a Howard Rourke uh, a much more identifiable character in that he uh, ha is, the, the Fountainhead is all about integrity. You know, what did Ayn Rand say? Work in a gas station. Work in a gas station, there's honor in work, you know, rather than compromise and sell yourself out. And that's something that I've done. I, I remember seeing a a train conductor once who was talking to someone and talking to children and he had such dignity about him I found that I respected that train conductor 
more than any of the big politicians in New York City that I've met. And I've, I've, that has helped me live my life on my terms, the Howard, the, the Howard Rourke character and Gary Cooper's portrayal. And the ending of that film where Patricia Neal goes rushing up that elevator uh, and, and sees him on top and joins him on top of that skyscraper is one of the all-time great Hollywood endings. I, it, it leaves me breathless just thinking about it. And it wouldn't have been that moving and that classic if it hadn't been for Patricia Neal, who carried it off. Um, the Day the Earth Stood Still is another classic film, a classic of science fiction. And I love the fact that Patricia Neal could see the value of science fiction in the 1950s when serious actresses wouldn't touch it. Not only did she see the value and agree to star in um, on the, the, the Day the Earth Stood Still, but she was one of her favorite of her films, and she she uh, appeared at uh, screenings of the film at science fiction conventions. She was very proud to have been such a seminal uh, intellectual science fiction film. It just it says so much about her character and her intelligence. A Face in the Crowd is another amazing film. Uh, with Patricia Neal in it, and, and, and again, another one of her great earthy characters of the southern drawl. She picked that up again in HUD, for which she won the Oscar, and that performance is so sensitive, and very, very sad. Uh, she's the best thing in the movie. I think the movie is overrated, liberal, you know, didactic, preachy, uh, you know, isn't, you know it's, just, it's, it's not my cup of tea. But it looks great, and she's great. And she makes the movie work. She's the heart of the movie. Um, Breakfast at Tiffany, she does a wonderful turn in as the older woman, you know, who's, who's uh, keeping a gigolo, basically. Um, another film that a lot of you guys would like, if you haven't seen, is In Harm's Way, which is a great patriotic film about Pearl Harbor. And it stars uh, John Wayne and Patricia Neal. It's one of those all-star casts. Kirk Douglas is in it. Everybody's in it. And uh, Patricia Neal is the female lead. And she not only holds her own with John Wayne, but I think she's one of his all-time best co-stars. I mean, his, his intense masculinity is met by her unflinching, Earth Mother quality that's just it just blows the screen up. I mean it's just magnificent, and I think that Otto Preminger is one of my favorite directors, and that film is not as well known, and it's really really worth seeing. She also did the subject was Roses after her uh, stroke, which was a big comeback to her for her. But yeah, I really think the Fountainhead, a face in the crowd, in harm's way, and the homecoming are what I'll really remember Patricia Neal for. And her integrity and uh, intelligence and honesty and strength. You know, I, I, don't, uh, I don't see those qualities in today's actors or actresses. So, you know, as, uh, thank goodness she left such a rich legacy and led such a full life. And uh, you know, I'm just I'm just thinking of uh, a Patricia Neal. Well, you gay. Take care.